Hey, Kyle here with Maple Systems. Today I'm gonna to show you a quick demo on how to use CMT Viewer with one of our headless HMIs. So for this demo, I'm using a CMT SVRX and it's connected to a power supply. And also here is a wireless router. So we're going to use an iPad and then also an iPhone. Now you can use an Android tablet, smartphone, laptop, or desktop PC. The phone, the iPad, and the HMI are all on the same wireless network. So I'm gonna show you how you would access CMT Viewer, which is a free downloadable app. So here are my tablet. You can see CMT Viewer, once you download it, you can open it up. Now, when you first open it, you'll see this screen and you need to connect to an HMI. So I'll just exit out of this for now. And to connect to this headless HMI, you'll hit the plus sign and make sure you're on the same network, of course. And then it'll pop up here, you hit the plus sign, and then you'll enter six ones, one, 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 one. Six ones is the default password, hit okay. And then it'll download the project. Now, because I've already got into the project once, it's just gonna refresh here. Normally it would download the project and then it'll open up like this. Same thing for your phone, you'll do the same thing, you'll download CMT Viewer and then be able to access the project from the headless HMI. So now I'm viewing the project on the tablet and also the iPhone. So the really cool thing about this is that we are on a local wireless network, so we're not on the internet at all. So we're just creating a wireless network here. We can do different things on different pages. So you can see that these two are happening at the same time on both screens. So for example, if I go into trend display, you see the trend display here, and then maybe if I go to alarms, the two don't affect each other. So you and I can be logged into CMT Viewer doing completely different things at the same time, and I'm able to continue what I'm doing without affecting you. So we're not on like a VPN or VNC Viewer where we would take over the screen. We can have several different users doing different things at the same time. So in the demo project, there are just some different features here, switches and lamps. You can turn bits on and off, you can toggle, jog up and down, multi-state switch, go back home, go to meters and bar graphs. So here's meters and bar graphs. And let's go to recipe management, recipe database. Here is some recipes. And then if, also there are some security settings, enhanced security. So there are nine different levels of security and 127 different user logins you can have. So go back home, also multi-language. So there are 27 different languages you can choose from. Another really cool thing, we go to trend display here. I'm also gonna do the same thing on the iPhone. Go trend display. Another cool thing here is that it's capacitive multi-touch. So you can zoom in and out to a specific data point. So over right here, see here, you can zoom in and out. Same thing with the iPhone or any phone. In that matter. So that's about it for today. Uh, this is our demo for connecting to a CMT viewer with our headless HMI using a phone or a tablet, whatever device you want to use to open up CMT viewer. So please like this video on YouTube and subscribe to the Maple Systems YouTube page. Also visit our playlist on the Maple Systems website for more CMT viewer, web view, and other remote access videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.